to me when Bam got his fourth. What did that do to you guys? It just seemed like you guys were in control there for a few minutes, and then it just turned on a dime. Uh, it's tough, um, but I, I mean, I don't mm -hmm. like that he got four fouls, but he got it in a manner when he was trying to get somebody open um, aggressively on the screen. They could go either way. Um, they did not go our way tonight, but that's okay because that's not the reason why we lost this game. Um, we got to be better all around. You know there are 80 left, obviously, but and you never want to be owing anything. I get that, but how I guess how fortunate is it that you have another one in 24 hours to try to try to get that first one out of the way? Oh, we straight, we straight. Uh, we just know we got to do better on the defensive end. We said it after um, the Chicago loss. We're gonna say the same thing after the Boston loss, but we do not want to say the same thing come Toronto tomorrow. So we gotta. Um, we got to be more excited to, to play defense and get a stop, you know, match that energy that we play with on offense. Just 26 threes tonight, Spo was saying kind of schematically that's what Boston was taking away, but how do you kind of strike that balance of taking what the defense gives you and then trying to get up more shots from, from three-point range? Uh, shoot them whenever you open. You know, sometimes shoot some contested ones. Uh... It's just, it's just part of the game. I think we, we got enough shots on goal, though. We got 92 shots up. We got a lot more shots up than they did, now that I look at it. Um, but offense wasn't the problem. We didn't rebound. Um, we didn't get no stops. And uh, overall, we just didn't play hard enough. We didn't play winning basketball. When you're talking about the effort, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we were nowhere to be found. And um, outcome is what it was. Jimmy, on that uh, comeback kind of in the fourth when you guys were battling back, Gabe had a really nice run for you. Uh, what developments are you seeing from him from last year coming into this year? Same type of, of player, very confident, shoot the ball well, get into the paint, finish as well, um, knows where the ball has to go, um, and he's going to be a big reason why we win a lot of games as our backup point guard. Um, hella talented, and uh, I think everybody loves to play with him. We just want him to keep being who he is. Jimmy, you guys forced the Celtics into 19 turnovers tonight. I know you said the defense wasn't good enough to win the game. Uh, you know, you forced them into 10 more turnovers than you guys finished with. I wanted to know how you feel about the not only the transition offense, but the transition defense through two games, and if that's something you guys got to be better at. Uh, without a doubt, you know, we got to get back more. We got to close gaps no matter who has the ball. And then um, I think we did all right in transition when you talk about offense. You know, maybe we... We bobbled the ball a couple of times and, you know, didn't put the ball on the money to get our shooters in our shooting pocket or get somebody to lay up. But um, overall, offense is, is, is pretty good. I think um, the defense is where we lack right now. Just getting into the specifics defensively, like what is it that is lacking? Is it We're not getting no stops? Is it the execution? Is it like an effort thing? Uh, I don't say effort. We just don't play hard sometimes because we think that we can outscore people. Um, but we just we just don't get stops. I don't know if we're not connected. We're not making the right rotations. We got to take that one on one matchup. It's a combination of a lot of things. But as a whole, as a team, defense is uh, not good right now. Thank you. Perfect. Good.